all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you i hope my voice coming good and clear uh, please inform me if you have any difficulty from your side uh, today our topic is about a video made by muhammadan actually it was sent uh, for me a while ago but i did not look at it and uh, i want to say thank you for the one who did the translation for the uh, video because it's indonesian i don't understand it and I found it very funny and very stupid. And uh, we will take advantage of this video so we can save the Indonesian people from the cult of Islam. You see, when Indonesian Muslims, they try to present Islam to you, they present something very stupid. And I will show you how stupid Islam is. A person, he made a video supposedly to answer me. And one of the funny things actually in his video, he said, uh, he played of me uh, reading the Quran and he said I was reading wrong and the funny they lie life on air saying he said the letter ha 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 hunna which is absolutely false you can play the title where he is playing and you will see how stupid he is the only difference between the reading he is doing and my reading I say uh, they say and this is in Arabic very well known as quote tashkil this is not a change of letters this is the change of tashkil. Tashkil is something you put in the top of the letter or underneath, and that will change the reading. As an example for those idiots, this is the word ilayhinna in, in, their, in their reading. Ilayhinna. All right. But if you see here the same word, the, le the letter we are disagreeing about is the last two letters. This is the same word, the, I mean, the hunna. Kaydahunna. You see, so when you put this in the top, the Dhamma, that will make it Hunna. When you put Kasra, that will make it Hinna. And Dhamma and Kasra, this is not really part of the language. This is something was added long after Muhammad died. Uh, just for those who don't understand what we are saying, those little things we add in the top, they change the way you pronounce the word, but they are not words. Here there is Kasra, here there is Dhamma. Those two are the same word, Hunna. In fact, the correct reading is Hunna, not Hinna. And this is the correct reading. So this is the same from this part. I'm just trying to show you. So this chapati is amazing, and I want to ask this person, isn't it your Quran supposedly came in several reading? <laughs> Which means I can play with it as any way I want. Secondly, as long as you are so good in Arabic, why you don't dare to call me potato? Let everybody laugh, either at you at, and or at me. You see that the issue is, all of them, they are so good in refuting me, but they don't dare to call me. And you know what? You have no excuse that you do not know English. Because you claim that you know Arabic. We will do it in Arabic and we will get somebody to translate to Indonesian and English immediately. And let all the Indonesian die laughing at your stupidity. It's a challenge. It is a challenge. And in his video, actually, <coughs> sorry, my, my voice uh, uh, is not good. Uh, in his video, he said uh, that... Uh, if you change one letter in the Quran, he will know. Okay, I'm going to change one letter. And I challenge you to tell me if I'm wrong or right. All right, hold on. You see here the Quran says Nuhi. In the Arabic of the Quran, there was no dot, which means when Muhammad gave the Quran and the Muslim they wrote it, there was no dot, which means there is no way to know this letter is noon, noon, which letter N. Let's type it for you. Let me show you how many options we can have with just just adding dots. So noon, letter N. Or this is can be letter T. Or this is can be letter Ya. 
which one of them so I'm going to change it and I challenge you to correct me and to tell me how you will know that I'm wrong I will make it not Nuhi I'm going to make it Yuhi because there's no difference between them except the dot and the dot is something added later to the Quran so instead of saying Nuhi I will say Yuhi not only that okay hold let me uh, 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 switch to Arabic I'm not going to make it only Yuhi you see the last letter in the letter in the Yuhi there's yeah because there's no dot I can say Yuha look how many options so I want this Abdul to make a video a special video to refute me in this if I change from between Nuhi to Yuhi to Yuha how he will know that I am changing the Quran we will wait for that answer and then we will die laughing at him trying uh, uh, struggling trying to answer and I want you to say clearly that I'm wrong and you know there's no way it is Yuhi or Yuha it is Nuhi for sure I want you to tell me how you figure that out now we go back to uh, uh, starting from the beginning of his video Uh, let me read the translation which sent to me again I want to say thank you for the person who made the translation it take time you know to translate it's not easy especially it's not your I mean translate into other language all right the video in his video he's saying uh, Quran valid and never uh, be fabricated I mean this is the most hilarious stupid thing ever until now, the Muslims didn't have one single copy of the Quran. The Quran is, is published now by Saudi Arabia. This is a Quran according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to the recitation, not the writing of Hafs. And we showed you how Hafs is a liar according to Muslims. You can go watch that video and you will die laughing at, at the stupidity how Muslims they reject even the hadith of Hafs because he's a liar and uh, Hafs is a scam is a fraud him and his father both of them accused by Muslim Sunni to be a fraud so your Quran today is according to Hafs I challenge you to get the Quran according to Warsh maybe it's better now as long as you are the one who's saying if you change nobody can change the Quran read with me carefully and die laughing Abdul this is the chapter 6 verse number 93 this is the book of Asbab al nuzul this book is not written by Christian Prince this is by Imam Al-Wahidi okay as you see in the to make it easier for you to read it in English Al-Wahidi who okay the verse here came because somebody saying that he made Quran like the Quran of Allah who is uh, 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 guilty of more wrong than who froth forth a lie against Allah or says I am inspired who is this one who said I am inspired let us read chapter 6 verse number 93 this is was revealed about liar Musaylama al-Hanafi okay Musaylama he lie he says I am inspired too this man was etc uh, uh, etc et but this is not important and then go down you will see here it says uh, the prophet he asked a guy his name is Abdullah ibn Sarah to come and write the Quran for him read carefully because the verse continue, continue it's about two people this is the second part and who says I will reveal the like of what Allah has revealed chapter 6 93 this verse was revealed about Abdullah ibn, 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 ibn Abi Sarah this man had declared his faith in Islam so he converted to Islam wonderful so he's not a Jew he's not a Hindu he's a Muslim so the messenger of Allah Allah pray on him and salute him called him one day to write something for him when the verses regarding the believers were revealed verily we created a man from product of wet earth chapter 23 verse number 12 to 14 
the prophet dictated to him and when he reach up and then produce it in other another creation here the prophet muhammad stopped supposedly according to the story abdullah abdullah the inscribed the writer the one who converted to islam expressed his amazement at the precision of the man creation by saying so blessed be allah the best of the creators and look what happened the fraud muhammad he said the messenger of allah allah pray on him and salute him said abdullah abdullah the last ex expression you said this is how it was revealed to me <laughs> but abdullah he is the one who said the verse you see it's in the front of you this is the muslim witnessing what happened Muhammad was telling the guy to write Quran and he said praise be to Allah or he stopped sorry he read until here let us show you in the screen let us go to the verse in the Quran we will show it in English and in Arabic hold on so you can see how it is I hope the text is coming clear from your side, guys. I mean, in the screen. Let me see. All right. So look what happened here. The guy, Muhammad was reading. Then we made the nutfah into a clot. A piece of thick congealed dead blood, which is a stupid of Muhammad to say, because the nutfah will not transform into blood. And you are saying to me, we cannot change the Quran. Well, I don't want any to change the Quran. This is amazing Quran to laugh, and this is a comedy. What kind of a stupid God, he says, that a nutfa will be changed into a, con a congealed dead blood? Is your prophet Muhammad taking hashish? Is that what doctors, they taught you in school? That nutfa will turn into dead blood? So your stupid Muhammad, he, he, he saw that women, she, when she lose a child, dead blood come. So he thought, this is what is that the baby is. When women have abortion, this is how Muhammad, he imagined the baby. Okay, this is the blood. You see the blood? This is the baby. And then we made it into a clot of little lump of a flesh, which is a stupid. Because this is, the, this is now we have a blood clot, which can kill any human being. A human being is not dead blood, you idiot. And then, and then we made it out into a little. So now the blood transformed into a flesh and bones. This is your Quran. And then we have closed the bones with the flesh. And then we have brought forth another creation. This is the statement of Muhammad. Here Muhammad stopped. When Muhammad he stopped, Abdullah ibn Sarah he said, So be, blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he heard Abdullah ibn Sarah saying that. He said, oh, Abdullah, right, right it there, right it there. The guy, he said, but this is me who said that. He said, yeah, but it came to me the same. <laughs> Unbelievable. So you are saying to us, if we change one word in the Quran, you will know it. Why is that? Because you are a stupid recording machine and now you memorize the Quran. But who care about this? The Quran already is a shish kebab. I mean, and this is your books. The one is reporting those stories is you Muslims. And nobody can deny it. And look what happened. Abdullah expressed his amazement. You see, the guy is not a bad guy because he's, he's amazed with the Quran. You, you see, when somebody, he says that this person is amazed with the Quran, obviously he is a believer he's not a bad person supposedly right okay at the precision of the man's creation by saying so blessed be allah the best of the creators the messenger of allah allah bless him and give him peace said oh abdullah abdullah the last expression uh, is how it was revealed to me muhammad he liked it he's, he's, he told him to add it 
how it was revealed to him but it came to Abdullah ibn Strah first and Muhammad did not say it you see Muhammad he stopped this is why the guy he stopped he took Muhammad was reciting the Quran and when he finished he stopped the guy he's writing the Prophet stopped so he, he wrote everything and then the Prophet he stopped writing that's it he's done so the man he said Abdullah he said because he was amazed with the stupid Quran supposedly and he said blessed be Allah the best of the creators Muhammad he like it he said to him write it there this is mine and then at this point read carefully Abdul at this point dot crept into Abdullah he said if Muhammad is a truthful then I was inspired just he was just as he was which means I'm a prophet too and if he's lying I have altered exactly what did alter do you see it so your Quran already is altered and it's a joke it's a lie secondly just to show you how stupid Muhammad is the guy he said blessed is the one the best of the creators how Muhammad stupid is to say the best of the creators if there's only one creator how he even accept it to add it to the Quran the second you say he is the best of the creators that's mean you are comparing Allah to other creators that's mean you agreeing that there's more than one creator now the Muslim Abdul in Indonesia will say to you oh like don't you create a bicycle or oh, don't you create a, a car this is stupid creation here is about creating a soul do you see any car in the verse do you see anyone making a bike because at that time they do they make they make uh, they make dishes they made a spoon they made the they made many things I mean they made bed still this is a, if, if this is the creation what well, is the creation then but as you see here they are talking about the best of the creators of life which mean you are saying that Allah is the best creator of lives how that can be I thought he is the only creator many stupid mistakes all over the Quran and you are saying to me if you change one word in the Quran and as you see Muhammad is copying from others not only that if we go in the hadith we will find that Muhammad he said Quran min arba. take the Quran from four okay did you take them from the four did you <laughs> But this is not important as long as you said that if you take one word from the Quran if you change it I will know about it I want you to recite for me in the coming video the following verses just small request I'm not going to make it heavy on you Allah he sent verses about breastfeeding for adult and I don't I want you to explain to the Muslim ladies Muslim girls what the breastfeeding for adult mean hold on let me find something fit with this topic just to show you how stupid your challenge is I mean can you make Quran like this can you make Quran saying to Muslim women give your breast to an adult to his so, so he can suckle it I mean how stupid this cult is to the point you have a God who says do breastfeeding for adult okay we will give you an example here we don't mean to be rude it's just an example
Let us see. We are just trying to find a picture which is not ugly. This is what your prophet is teaching, my friend. That your beautiful wife, if I come to visit her at home, and by the way, you can go and search the fatwa made by the highest scholar of Lazar University, the dean of the Hadith department. He made a fatwa that any Muslim woman she want to associate with a stranger, she have to do breastfeeding for him for, him for adult 10 times. Some Muslim, they lie, they say that this is about women, she take milk from her breast and then he can drink it. Don't be stupid. The hadith and the verse is so clear. It says, Ridha is to suckle. Suckle is to put your lips at the nipples, not at the dish. And by the way, the woman who Muhammad, he asked her to give milk, she is not in the age of giving milk because she cannot have babies. This is why they don't even have, you know, I mean, she is she is not in that age. Women, they are not. The, uh, maybe some Muslim, they think that women, they have a, they have nipples. It's like a faucet. Anytime you can take milk from it. Even cows don't do that. So when the woman, she have a baby, she can give milk. Why Muhammad is asking the woman, the woman to suckle the man? What he will get from there exactly? Nothing. It's just to suckle her nipples. And this is not our problem now. You like your wife to suckle me, not to suckle me? No problem. There's a girl, Muslim girl. Uh, 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 she called me before and the Muslim, they play uh, the, the video saying that Christian Prince, he said to her, suckle me. I was reading the Hadith for you, Abdul, and you are ashamed of it. And not only that, you Muslim, you said that the one who said to a woman, suckle me, he is a sexual predator, which means you agreed that you're a prophet. He is teaching people to be sexual predator by doing and practicing Islam. Now we go back to the Hadith. Aisha, she said, the Holy Quran declare 10 suckling. Do you see the word suckling? Do you know what suckling means? Suck. Mm -hmm. Suck, huh? Hey, Indonesian guy. Suck is not a drinking in a dish because I know what you will say. It is about sucking. So suck it, you idiot. So suckling, the ten clear suckling make the marriage unlawful. By the way, the Muslims don't agree. They say uh, this is only for children. Ten suckling only for a child, but ten suckling for adult, still you can have sex with a woman. So what the point? So they agree with this if it's about for a child. So why Muhammad, he uh, say to an adult woman to suckle an adult man if he still can have sex with her? What the point? Secondly, where we can find the 10 suckling verses in the Quran? Mr. The Quran never changed. I want you to dig under your bum and find me the verses of 10 suckling. I could not find it, my friend. Maybe in your Quran, is it, it is there. Do you know where we can find those verses? I know. Aisha herself, we will go back to those verses. Aisha herself, she will not let any man to enter upon her unless one of her nieces or sisters, she suckled the man. Yahya related from uh, uh, Malik, from Nafia, from, 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 from Safiya, from blah, etc., from Hafsa, that Hafsa um, al muminin sent Asim, blah, 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 uh, uh, said to her sister Fatima bin to Umar ibn Khattab for her to suckle him 10 times so that he could come and see her. Which means if I want to see Aisha, Aisha, she will send me one of her girls 
and Christian Prince he is going to suckle her ten times before he can enter it and here you see that you are challenging us to change the Quran why we want to change it you change it this is why you Muslims are ashamed of the Quran so you deleted those verses otherwise I challenge you to tell me you will say to me it's abrogated so what what, what do you mean abrogated it should be in the Quran why you take it off did Allah says to you take it off show me the verse it says take this verse off nowhere it says that did Muhammad say to you take this verse off show me the hadith saying that and as long as you have to practice it how you how you delete it and this is only happen you know the Muslims they agree that if you do a child uh, breastfeeding supposedly he is forbidden for you but they are doing it to adult if we go this is why it doesn't say only 10 times it says adult let me show you it's not only 10 times because 10 times it might be for a child no this is not for a child this is not the case now the verse of stoning and the breastfeeding for adult do you see, do you see the word adult don't call me anyone will call me I will reject your call all right anyone will call I will reject your call not now we have to wait until we finish the topic the verse of stoning and the breastfeeding for adult Ten time was revealed. Do you see it, adult? Okay, where we can find this revealed verse? And the paper was under my pillow. So the verses was where? Was under the pillow of Aisha. The messenger of Allah died. We were preoccupied with his death. And a time sheep came and ate it. A goat ate the Quran, my friend. A goat ate your Quran and you are telling us if we take one letter of the Quran you will find out I want you to make a a, a video and I want you to recite for me the breastfeeding for adult verses and I want you to explain to us how we do it by bringing a Muslim sister with you life in air and practice it if you are brave if you are not ashamed of us now so what happened in the in the case of Muhammad literally is a goat eating his book and now you Muslims do not have those verses because of her majesty mrs. goat and by the way, this goat now is wanted by Muhammadan. So if anyone see her anywhere, anyhow, please call the Medina phone number, which Muhammad, he said, this is a city no plague can enter it. And yet in a few years after his death, half of the population die from the plague. But the liar prophet said no plague can enter the city. So a goat ate the Quran. And what she ate with it? Is that the only verse no I mean look like this goat is very selective it says here in this hadith that the breastfeeding for adult ten time and the stoning to death both were eaten by the goat can you uh, tell me the stone uh, where, where we can find the stone verse since the goat ate it is gone and then we have another disaster it says then the verses was, was were abrogated but not ruling <laughs> so what do you mean that abrogated but not ruling it's mean it's not abrogated guys how in the world this cult work if the verse is going to be practiced the what do you mean it's abrogated 
Then they say, other hadith says that Allah, he sent the verses saying five breastfeeding. Okay, where we can find this five breastfeeding? Where is this verse can be found? Here you see the stupidity and the lies they present to us saying the Quran cannot be changed. When the Quran is nothing but a bunch of lies and stupidity. I don't want the Quran to be changed. I will pay you money if you can put those verses back so we can die laughing. As we are doing right now, but it's going to be more official. Then, my friend, you said, and I'm concentrating with if you change one word, the fact Muhammad is the one who changed the Quran. Muhammad, he is copying people around him and make Quran from what they say and the proof in front of you my lord agreed with me in three things who's talking Umar al-Khattab my lord who is who's Umar al-Khattab Umar al-Khattab is just a friend of Muhammad supposedly whatever Umar he said to Muhammad Muhammad he liked it he make a Quran as he revealed Allah agree with Umar. He did not agree with Muhammad. I wish he we took the station of Abraham. Okay. Muhammad, he took the verse. He put it in the Quran. Umar, he was a spying at Sauda and he saw her doing poo-poo and he was laughing at her, 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 her bum. He says, Arifnaki ya Sauda. Hey, we not recognize you, Sauda, which means we recognize your ass. Because she was doing poo-poo, this is what she was doing. I mean, look how rude, how filthy he is. And instead of shutting his mouth and stay away, a woman she is doing what everybody do. I mean, at that time there's no toilet, toilet seat, there's no bathroom. They go in the yard and they do it. The filthy man, because how decent he is, he he make fun of her and say, "We got you busted. We saw your ass." And then he went inside and look. He knew the wife now she's going to come and tell her husband that your faithy friend he did this so look what he told him muhammad why you don't ask your wife to wear hijab the bad and the good come to your house but he is the bad and the proof he was making fun of her for doing poo, -poo. let us show you the hadith so they will not say i'm making things up Do you see it? Arifnaki ya Sauda. Sauda, we recognize you. What he recognize about her? And why you are calling her? Are you allowed to speak to a strange woman in the middle of the dark? She was doing poo poo. And then Muhammad, he took what Umar ibn, ibn, ibn al-Khattab, he said, and he made them verses. But look, if we go back in the hadith, you will see Umar saying the, 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 to make the Kaaba a direction of a prayer, to wear the hijab is made by Umar, and the verses about divorcing the wives of Muhammad or exchanging them, because the Arab they used to exchange women. I take your wife, you take my wife. Look what Omar he said. He said, I said to them, it may be he divorce you and that his Lord Allah will give you instead of you wives better than you. So the verses revealed the same as I had said. The idiot who is texting me, I will block you. I said, wait until I say, call me. So what do you mean nobody can change the Quran? Already the Quran is changed. This is not, this is the words of Umar. This is the word of Abdullah ibn Sarah. If we go to Ibn Kathir, and he said in, the, in his video too, that nobody can make Quran. Look what the Arab they said to Muhammad.
And when our verses of the Quran are recited to them, they say, we have heard this. If we wish, we can say like this. And then he said, uh, uh, he, he's supposedly saying, uh, al -fil uh, this, is, this, is, uh, this is the feel, have a long nose. Supposedly, somebody is trying to make Quran. Okay, let me ask you. If I make Quran, are you going to accept it anyway? No. I mean, who is the one who will be the judge? Let us examine who is going to be the judge. Who is the best judge to examine if this is from Allah or not? Just to show you the stupidity of this man who made those videos. Listen carefully. Who can be better judge to figure out if the Quran is from Allah or not? Can you find better than Muhammad? No way. He's the prophet. That's it. He have a license. But don't you know that Muhammad, he received satanic verses and Muhammad did not notice that those are from shaitan? <laughs> How you can recognize what is Quran, what is not, but yet your prophet could not. Shaitan, he come and he recite in his recitation satanic verses. And he says the three daughters of Allah must be worshipped. You know what? Maybe Christian Prince is lying. Let us see what the Muslim they say about this verse. Chapter 22, verse number 52. Give me a second. All right, we will open the Muslim interpretation. So they will not say, uh, you know, this is his lies. He is making things up. This is not true. It's a lie, brother. He's lying, brother, to you. Don't believe him. This guy is a Christian, brother. Okay, we will see. We will see. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, read with me carefully and die laughing at the stupidity of this cult. Chapter 22, verse number 52. Never we send a messenger or a prophet before thee, chapter 22, verse 52, but shaitan, he put in his mouth something. Okay, who is the prophet before thee who shaitan put something in his mouth? Give me his name. Because you are saying never. Which one? Stupid verse. It's just to give Muhammad an excuse because you cannot name one. Secondly, read carefully what it says. When the Prophet was reciting the chapter of an Najm, and he arrived where he says, Have you thought upon Allah and Al Uzza and Manat, the third, the other? Chapter 53, verse number 19 to 20. The devil put, put in his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for and said, These are the mighty grands, al gharaniq Their intercession is to be hoped for. Okay, hold on. Shaitan, this is the Muslim translation, this is the Muslim book, this is the Muslim sheikh, this is the Muslim scholar, this is not Christian prince. Shaitan, he put the devil. You see, the Muslim saying the devil. I mean, don't tell me the devil in Islam mean Angela. Huh? The devil, Abdul, he put the devil put on his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for and said, the, they are, these are, who these who? Allah, Al Uzza, Manat, the three daughters of Allah, mighty grants, Garaniq, and their intercession is to hope for, which means to worship them. This is what enters, you know. You, 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 you just, Muhammad, he just agreed that Allah have three daughters by doing this action, and he agreed that they are goddess, and he agreed that they intercede for Muslims and the kuffar in front of Allah. So he agreed with the pagan Arab. 
He's a pagan like them. And then the Quraysh, the Kuffar, they were very pleased. Why they were pleased? Because he just worshipped their goddess. This is the only disagreement they have because the, the pagan Quraysh, they are, they are pagan like the Muslim. Both of them, they worship the moon god Allah. The only problem, Muhammad, in the beginning, he didn't. He say, I don't approve Allah, al Uzza, and Manat. And actually, he sent Khad al-Warid to kill one of them, which is stupid, which means because by saying I sent Khad to kill her, to kill her one of them, that means Allah have three daughters for real. And he killed one of them. The message of Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him, carried recitation until the end of the surah and he prostrated like what the heck he prostrated for Allah al uzza and manat he just said Allah and al uzza are the the goddess and their intercession is a must they are gharaniq And he protested, he bowed down, and the Muslims and the Kuffar, the idolaters, which means Muslim too, they are idolaters, they kiss black stone. All of them now, they share one religion, it's called the religion of Muhammad. Except one guy he did not because he was too old. His name, Walid ibn Mughira. He was not able to bow down. And look what happened. Did Muhammad notice by himself that this is not from Allah? No. Read carefully. That evening, Jibreel, peace be upon him, went to the messenger of Allah, bless him, and give him peace and said, What you have done, Khabibi Muhammad? Khabibi Muhammad, what you have done? Huh? Khabibi Muhammad, bend down. Muhammad, I'm going to spank you. Khabibi Muhammad, what you did? Khabibi? Huh? What you have done, Khabibi? Huh? You recited to people that which I did not bring from Allah. Glorified is he? And you said what I did not say to you? <laughs> So this Abdullah from Indonesia, he is saying, if you add one word in the Quran, I will find out. But his prophet, he added a long verse about not, not just adding, about worshipping three daughters of Allah and Muhammad went home, did not notice yet what happened. <laughs> Which means this guy from Indonesia saying that his prophet is a certified donkey. He is not. He's smart. Muhammad is a donkey. Because Muhammad, not like this Indonesian guy, if you add one word in the Quran or you change it, he can find out right away. Immediately, brother. But Muhammad, a whole verse are added by the devil. And he recited, and he put down after saying it, worshipping the three daughters of Allah, and yet he went home, and yet until the evening and yet at night Jibreel come to his house and still he have no idea what happened and he said to him Muhammad Khabibi what you did Khabibi Abdul from Indonesia if you don't understand I can call Zakir Naik for you to explain the verse for you Tararam 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 Tararim, because Zakir Naik won't answer unless it's three time, you know, like the Prophet. Christian Prince, I did not call me. Zakir Naik, how you know that this is me? Because you are the only one who called me when I'm the sixth. Ah, yeah. Are you doing breastfeeding for adult? First of all, I don't do breastfeeding anymore. Because simply, I am sick of it. Uh, why you are not doing breastfeeding for adult anymore? Because of Corona. Corona is killing us. And we have to have things from far away now. Oh, okay. Corona is, you are right. You have, you have to stay safe, man. Don't do breastfeeding for adults anymore. No problem. So, uh, 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 Zakir, what do you think about the prophet receiving satanic verses and he did not notice they are from shaitan? How this happened? Christian Prince, first of all, you are stupid. You do not know Arabic and you don't know English. And I'm going to explain to you. 
Okay, explain to me. Theton, he come to him in the shape of an angel Jibril. Oh, he came to him as an angel Jibril. Exactly. And actually, he made himself, they call him the Abyad. Ah, the white. Ah, yeah. Oh, why he became white? Because simple. In Islam, Satan always black. And he changed his color so he can fool the prophet. Ah. So your prophet, when he saw someone, he is white, he thought this is Jibreel, and he get the verses from him. Exactly. And you're like, this matter now, because of me. Oh, thank you, Zakir. I'm learning, you know, what I can do. And what happened next? So the prophet, he recited the verses, and he didn't know, and he did not notice. And it is very, very, very normal, because we are a human. Ah, the prophet is a human. Is he the human? But he can have sex with 13 women in, in 20 minutes. Is that, a, is that a human thing? That is, that is very human. But Allah gave him extra Viagra for sex. Okay. And uh, why the Prophet did not notice that this is from Shaitan? I mean, you are worshipping the three daughters of Allah. You did not notice? You're the prince. Sometimes you say things you are not aware of. But he did not only say it. He noticed that the people who they are kuffar, they bow down with him, which means they are worshipping what he worship now. Because he recited that the three daughters of Allah, they must be to be intercede and they're to be worship. So now he should not notice that he just did something very horrible. Christian Prince, Allah, he did not take the Prophet alone. And that's why he waited for him. One hour, the Prophet did not notice. Two hours, the Prophet did not notice. Three hours, the Prophet did not notice. Four hours, the Prophet did not notice. Five hours, the Prophet did not notice. Zakir Naik, take a nap and come back. Are you going to continue saying five hours, six hours? I mean, come on, come to the end. Six hours, the Prophet did not notice. Eight hours, the Prophet did not notice. Nine hours, the Prophet did not notice. Ten hours, the Prophet did not notice. Eleven hours, the Prophet did not notice. Prince and Prince, are you snoring? I'm going to take a nap. Are you going to count how many hours now? Eleven hours, the Prophet did not notice. Twelve hours, the Prophet did not notice. 13 hours the Prophet did not it, 14 hours did the Prophet did not it, and 15 hours did not know it, and 16 hours the Prophet finally noticed. How he noticed? The Bril come to him, and he look at the door. The Prophet he opened the door. He said to him, The Bril, what are you doing here? The Bril he said to him, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, what you did? What you did? Bend over. I'm going to spank you. Uh, did the Bril spank the Prophet? I'm they inside that metaphorically. He did not really spank him, but it could be happen because he's Jibreel. He might be upset now. Oh, Jibreel is upset now. How do you know he's upset? Because he said to him, what you have been done? What you have been done, Muhammad? And here you see that the Prophet is not that alone. He is under the super, 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 super vision of Enzil Jibreel. Ah, okay. And he told him. And then they took the verse off. Who is the one who took the verse off? Allah took it off. But how you can take it off? If you Muslim, you say, you memorize anything Muhammad, he say. <laughs> Unbelievable. Zakir, are you there? Christian Prince, your love is the king of the devil. And you are not the good. I don't understand what you're saying. At the day of the governor, is that a Bangladesh language or something? At the of the Adikidi. Okay, whatever you say. I mean, I have to, I have to agree. I don't understand what you are saying. At the day of the Adikidi. Okay, I think you are cursing me now. Exactly. So you idiot, you are saying to me that nobody can change the Quran, and because you will notice, but yet your prophet he did not notice that the devil is giving him recitation of the Quran. Now here we have another problem. As long as shaitan, he can give Muhammad verses and Muhammad don't notice. How we knew that this verse itself, where it says, whatever shaitan gave the prophet, we will delete it, if this is not from shaitan himself. Maybe the shaitan is the one who made this verse. How we know that this is not shaitan? Any Abdul? How we knew that the one who made this verse, chapter 22, forget about the, the three daughters of Allah now. The one who made this verse himself is shaitan. 
because obviously shaitan he can throw in the mouth of Muhammad anything and Muhammad is the last one to know why shaitan was not able you see you say here that shaitan he throw in every messenger mouth okay well tell me what shaitan he throw in the mouth of Moses what he throw in the mouths of Isa as long as you believe that those are messengers show us stupidity now are we done absolutely not we did not start yet <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. But Tito, why you don't be brave and call me? So everybody will laugh at you. Be brave. Be a man. In number two reason, he says, the Quran cannot be false. Why? I'll read for you the translation, you know, so you see with me what this guy is saying. The Quran cannot be false. The kuffar who eat pork always say that Quran is false still. I mean, look, the Quran, the kuffar who eat pork. My friend, you, you drink piss. So shall I say the Muslim who drink piss? I mean, so now you are proving to us that the kuffar are wrong because they eat pork. But just to show you how stupid you are. Don't you know that the Quran allow you to eat pork, you donkey? You are a certified donkey. The kuffar who eat pork. Is it this is your Quran saying you can eat pork if you are hungry? Donkey. So if eating dork, pork is bad, horrible, why if you are suffering from hunger you can eat it? Why Allah don't provide you a shish kebab instead of pork? You are dying. Allah can send shish kebab, can't he? So you idiot, you can eat pork in Islam. If there is no other food to eat. Which means you have a license for eating. That means pork is not really bad. Because look, in this case now, pork will save your life. Not Allah. Who is going to save your life if you are hungry? Not Allah. Mr. Pig. And this is the chapter 5, verse number 3. The same verse forbidding you from eating the pork is the same verse approving you to eat pork. Stupidity is amazing. You see, wisdom have far away distance from Islam. Look what Jesus said. It is not what go inside your mouth will make you dirty. It is what come from your mouth. That's amazing wisdom. Only fool think that what come in your mouth will make you dirty. The fact what come out will make you filthy. So a Muslim, he think that he is higher than people, those kuffar who eat pork, like supposed to he don't eat pork, so he is a clean. Hmm. Pork is dirty, camel urine is a clean. How embarrassing. And then he said, they think that the chapter of the elephant, Al-Fil, is a joke. Cause impossible that elephant can attack and live in the desert. That Allah exists since one four hundred years ago. The ayah has a problem. Ones who should complain are the people in Mecca, Saudi. Why don't reject it? Who said they don't, you idiot? This is why they were fighting your prophet, you idiot. He conquered them. He forced them into Islam. <laughs> and as long as you are mentioning this verse about Al-Fil why you Muslims are buying the awaks of the American 
to protect you from the missiles of Iran and Saddam Hussein as long as Allah protect the Kaaba anyway. Huh? And how come Al Qurmuti he destroyed the Kaaba? And not only he destroyed it, he took the black stone, he made it the Pupu stone for more than 21 years. And not only that, he was screaming in the middle of the Kaaba saying, Allah, where is your birds? Huh? Where is your F-16? This is why we laugh at it. Because the Kaaba destroyed many times by the enemies of Islam. And al qurmuti is one of the great example not only he destroyed the kaaba he took the black stone and not only that allah could not get the black stone back the muslim they have to bribe this man to get it back they spoke to al-hakim bi amrullah al-fatimi the fatimi caliphate who believed that he is allah in earth and his son is hamza al-bahlawan which means allah have a son this is the version of islam at that time by al fatimiyin to speak to Al Qurmuti, please can you send them? They will give you money. How much you want for it? The black stone, because they cannot have a Kaaba without the black stone. They rebuilt it, but there's no black stone. So they gave him a lot of money to get it back. Where is your birds, Allah? Then he said. Quran cannot be false in linguistic. One thing that Kuffar should know that uh, in, in the who Arabia, which is used to take in from the Quran, so the Quran Ummu Luhu, I don't know what that means. So no Luhu cannot play in the Quran because it taken from. The, I don't know what does that mean actually. I, I, I don't understand what this uh, translation mean. But, you know, we, we prove anyway that the Quran is stupid and false. And, you know, we can prove the Quran is stupid many ways. I mean, let us say uh, nobody can take from the Quran. I don't want to take anything from the Quran. I don't want to destroy anything from the Quran. I am against anyone to burn the Quran. If you burn the Quran, we will laugh at what? When Allah, he says that women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. We will laugh at what if you destroy those verses? And the man have a sperm coming from his backbone. Oh, my backbone is hurting me. This is why my voice is hurt, is, is, is not good today. Huh? Nobody can make Quran like this. The funny they say to you, can you make Quran like this? I cannot. Because this is the most, I, people will laugh at me. And you know what? He might say, it doesn't say that, CP. It doesn't say that, that this is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Let us go and see. Chapter 86, verse number 7. Ibn Kathir. Maybe Christian Prince is lying. He's a liar. <laughs> nobody can make Quran like the Quran. For sure nobody. I mean, you don't want people to call you a certified donkey. Look at this. This is what your God is saying. So let the man see from what he is created. Ah, from what? what? From what? Okay. How we are created. Allah now is going to explain to us the secret of life. How we are made, my friend. He is created from water gashing forth. Gashing forth water. It's a gashing forth water. They cannot say uh, anything. It has to be gushing forth, coming out of the body of the man. It is nutfa. Meaning, the sexual fluid that come out bursting forth from the man and the women. What the heck? The sexual come out bursting from the man and the women? So when the women, she have liquid coming out of her vagina, that will make the baby? Me Allah baby you. Thus the child produced from both of them by the permission of Allah for sure, by the permission of Allah. You cannot do anything. There's two things you need to get permission for. Allah and Mr. Trump. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Me. Half of me came from the ribs of my mother. I just decide 
to make a status for ribs. From now on, I will eat ribs only. From the ribs of the women? Actually, no, not the ribs of the women only. The word in Arabic, it says taraib, and the word taraib in the Arabic language mean the location of the necklace of the women, not just, it's not ribs, no. It is the last top of the neck. You see, when, when a woman, she put a, a necklace, short one, there's like a little hole down your neck. This is where the sperm of the woman coming from. First of all, women don't have a sperm, you idiot. Secondly, there's no sexual fluid come from there. Number three, sexual fluid of the women have nothing to do with the baby creation. It's just like, a, 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 what, what, I don't know what the word in English, like to make, to make it easy for the, the, uh, the sperm to swim inside the women. Or even to have intercourse. And you are saying to me, nobody can make Quran like this. Absolutely nobody can make Quran like this. Proceeding from the backbone of the man and the ribs. The backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, i.e. it is fluid, it's yellow and fine in texture. The child will not be born except from both of them, i.e. their sexual fluid. Hold on, who is the one? Who is the stupid? He said this statement. Is that Ibn Kathir? No! This is a prophet Muhammad. Allah pray on him. This is an Iranian way. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Who is the one who said this? Muhammad. Let us laugh together. Muhammad is explaining how the baby is made, brother. Mean the messenger of Allah. Sahih. The problem, this hadith is Sahih. This Abdullah from Indonesia, he cannot say this is a lie. It is Sahih. Sahih. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white, and the man women water is thin and yellow. Yellow? Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble his parents. Now I know uh, Zach and Naik, he resemble who? And you are telling me nobody can make Quran like this Quran? For sure nobody, because people will die laughing at us. And who is the stupid in the world who taught you that the child gender or look have to do with who comes first? I will give you the name of the stupid one. His name is Prophet Muhammad. And you idiot, you are saying to us, nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah. Now he said in the video too, nobody can make language that the language of the Quran, language, what language? Let me show you how stupid the Quran is. The Quran do not even know how to pronounce words correctly. As an example, if I go right now, look at this. Man you baddil ni'imat, ni'imat ta'mar buta. The last letter is correct. It's correct. But look how Allah, he write it in different, different verse. <laughs> Stupid God. This is God? This is God who do not know how to write a simple Arabic word? I can give you tons of examples, unlimited, stupid example. And you are saying to me, nobody, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, da -da -dum, nobody. Hmm? What about Imra'at? You see, actually, the same verse he said that uh, I, I did not read it wrong.
If you go to the same chapter, let me show you. <laughs> this is endless numbers of stupid mistakes. Even kids don't do, don't, don't make them. Let us. Uh, this website. Okay, hold on. La 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 la. <laughs> The word Imra'ah. People keep texting me. Wait. Have you ever heard of anyone write the word Imra'a like this? Anyone? We can show you endless stupid mistakes in your Quran, my friend. The word Quran itself is mistake. Imra'atu Lut, Imra'atu Nuh. Imra to Pharaoh, all of them are written wrong. Uh, remember the, the the blessing of Allah. Okay, how we write it down? We don't know how to write it down. So here they might say, okay, the Arab who wrote it, they are stupid. They did not write it correctly, but this is not a mistake of the Quran. But that's mean the Quran you have today is wrong. I don't care who wrote it. Right? In the video too, this guy, you know, I mean, there's no need to talk about the Arabic because I can brag about Arabic as much as I know I want, as long as nobody knows Arabic anyway. But the important for us, how stupid the Quran is. Let us say the Quran is written in a very nice language as Shakespeare, but it's not. I mean, any verse in the Quran, we ask the Muslim to show us any verse. Do you remember the guy who his name, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. what? Uh, I forgot, Dr. Hamoudi. Do you remember him? Do you know after two hours disagreeing with me, trying to defend Islam? He admit, and not only that, he was very nice to me and he sent me this. May God bless you for what you have shown me. Which means he left Islam. Go and just watch the previous video. The God who don't remember which one he created first. Secondly, in the video, the guy, he said, this Abdul, he said, I am a cursed guy. Cursed, I'm cursed. Okay, hold on. According to the Quran, the one who changed the Quran or fabricate Quran, Allah will kill him. Let us see who is cursed. In chapter 69, verse number 64, Quran saying, if Muhammad, he fraudged, 
he, a, a false saying concerning us. Who's talking Allah? We surely should have sized him by his right hand, and we have certainly cut his off his artery between two bracket orta. So who is the one who will be cursed? Is the one who changed the Quran? Is the one who fabricate Quran? The one who lie about the Quran? My orta is fine. Your prophet orta is cut off. Let us prove it. <laughs> who is the one who is cursed? Your donkey. The Prophet in his element which he died, and this is Sahih Bukhari, you cannot say this is a weak hadith, remember. He used to say, O oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar, and at this time, I feel as if my orta is being cut off from that poison. And as you know, according to Islam, nothing can happen to any human being except by the will of Allah. So if Muhammad Orta is being cut off and Allah, he promised in the Quran that if Muhammad fabricate Quran, I will cut his Orta. That's mean your prophet Orta is cut off as a curse, as a punishment from Allah. That means he fabricate Quran, especially the Quran says what exactly the guilt is, the guilt if he forged false saying concerning us. So the foolish Muhammad, he made this verse. He never thought that's what will happen to him. Saying, if I am lying about the Quran, Allah will cut my orta. And then, this is exactly how he died. Allah, he cut his ortari, brother. So who is the one who is cursed? Hmm? Who is the one who is cursed? Me or your prophet? And here we have additional question to ask. I mean, too many questions. The poor guy is dead now. Why Allah did not save Muhammad, but he saved Isa? I will tell you why. If I have a farm, 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 you know, farm. Okay. I will use a drawing to explain to you because some they are slow let us say I am a master of a farm in the farm I have a donkey excuse my drawing uh, because sometimes I draw a donkey it appears like an elephant because we are Arab you know we are we used to have a lot of elephant in the desert <laughs> elephant this elephant, by the way, this uh, donkey is uh, this, uh, you know, have two legs only because at that time we have only two legs and and have a chicken. <laughs> Reciting Quran because even the birds, you know, they are amazed by the Quran. This is a chicken. OK. And I have a, a, go, uh, a, a horse, big horse. Big horse, brother, big horse. Look how big he is. I mean, this horse is so big, man. What the heck is that? This is horse looked like a tent, spaceship. Anyway, you get the idea, brother. And inside the building, too, there is my son. This is my son. He's very skinny because I'm not feeding him enough, you know. And this is the house. Let us say a house, have a stable, etc. And all are inside this place. And then fire started in the house. We, 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 fire, fire. Okay, Indonesian boy. Smart Abdul, okay. Which one I will save first? For sure, you will save your son.
right? A Muslim once he said to me, if Jesus is son of God, then his father should save him. Well, this is what happened exactly in Islam, according to your logic. His father saved him. So according to Islam, the logic of Islam, Allah, he saved Isa. He did not save Muhammad. There was a guy inside this room. His name is Isa. And there's a guy inside this room. His name is Muhammad. Allah saved Isa. He don't save Muhammad. As you see, Muhammad, he died by poison. There's one of two choices. Either Allah could not save him because Muhammad cannot be saved for he is cursed. This was a penalty from him for his being a liar, a fraud. Or this is a penalty from my God, the true God, for he, Muhammad, fabricated words about the, the Injil. And my God, he made Muhammad die like a rat. Whatever you choose of them, if you say Allah is the one who killed him, or you say the God of the Christian killed him, Muhammad die as a penalty as you see. He die as exactly he described. If he is lying, Allah will cause his death by cutting his orta. And one more final thing before we finish for this Abdul. When a Muslim, he says to us, nobody can change the Quran. What does that mean? Nobody can change the word of Allah, right? Look how stupid they are. But isn't it your Muslim you say the Bible change? They say that the Bible changed, but the Injil, as written in the Quran, is the word of Allah. So how you say nobody can change the word of Allah? If you Muslims promoting that Allah words change and Allah is unable to protect it. You see, when a Muslim he says that the Bible, the Injil is corrupt, he is attacking his God. He's being stupid because this is the book of Allah. Allah sent down the Injil. And here, by the way, you see something stupid in this uh, in this uh, verse because Allah, he chose the Greek name for the book of Jesus, which he sent to the Jews. I mean, the Quran says it clearly. We never send a messenger except in the language of his own people. Chapter 14, verse number 4. So, if the Injil is the book of Jesus was sent to his people, that means the people of Jesus are the Greek. Because the name is a Greek word. But because the stupid Muhammad, he could not, he did not know any word except this was the Christian at that time in that area, using for the gospel, they call it Injil, the Greek word. So the stupid Muhammad, he says that Allah, he said Injil. But if Allah, he said Injil, that's mean Allah, he approved a book which is not what he sent. Because Allah, he sent a book in Hebrew to the Hebrew. So there is no way that the book in Hebrew, but the name is in Greek. I wrote a book, it's called Yama Shushu, Yama Yuhu, Yama Lai, Yama Suzuki. The name in Japanese, but the book is in English, brother. <laughs> so when you say to us that nobody can, uh, you know, change the Quran, you are just a stupid because you just yourself, Muslims, you agree that the books of Allah, all of it screwed, which means Allah is screwed. You see, when you change the book of a God, well, whoever that God is, you screwed that God, not me, because this is not my book. You see, the Injil is not the book of the Christian. This is the book of God. So if you Muslims agree that the Injil, which sent by Allah, is changed, that means whoever changed it screwed Allah, not us. Additional to that, brother, I want to ask you, brother. I don't know if I should ask you this, brother. I'm not sure, brother. Should I ask you this? Because there's too many things for you, you know, to, uh, brother, to, uh, to answer, brother. 
I think we have, you know, we should not give him more questions. That's it. The guy, he will, he will be, let us see what he will say in a video. And if you are a man coming from the ribs of your mother, as the Quran said, proceeding from the backbone of your father and the ribs of your mother, may Allah bless her lips. Call me, you potato. Life on air challenge. I will call you, by the way, if you are not, uh, I will call you your majesty. The one who don't dare to call me from those who make videos, obviously, they are potatoes. Otherwise, call me, prove me wrong. Right? All right. <clears throat> Guys, I'm not going to take uh, calls from now because the video is already really long. Uh, we will be live again in a few hours because we want to leave this video as it is here. Uh, so those from Indonesia, the good ones translating, they can translate and post it in their page. So I'm not going to keep it longer, but I will try to come, <clears throat> to come back again in a few hours from now, and then we will take calls from whoever want to call us. All right? This uh, this uh, video now just to, to answer their lies and their stupidity. And... Uh, Everything they say to us is absolutely stupid and garbage. You know, even the Quran says that nobody can exchange the word of Allah. Nobody. Huh? Chapter 6, verse number 34. Chapter 6, verse 115. Chapter 6, verse number 64. Chapter 18, verse number 27. All of them, they are saying, nobody can change the word of Allah. So how you say the angel changed, you idiot? In the same time, the Quran says, if this is a book not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. Really? Yes, brother. Okay. But this is a contradiction. In chapter 4, verse number 82, it says, why they cannot consider the Quran? And the fine they say to us, the Quran is smart. So why they cannot consider it? Because it's stupid. If this is book other from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. That's wonderful. Look at this. The Quran said, Hmm. <clears throat> in chapter 5 verse number 44 verily we did send down the Torah to Moses okay Allah sent the Torah to Moses what happened look what happened please read and love please please read and love okay uh, okay it says and Allah, he trusted the Jews with the protection of the book of Allah. Guys, does it say that? Does it say that Allah entrusted the Jews with the protection of the book of Allah? This is a certified donkey statement. Why? Allah, he cursed the Jews. Allah, he considered the Jews the worst. Allah made the Jews pigs and monkeys. For not just for fishing on Saturday, and then you trust them with the book. Number one, number two, when you say I trust you, what does that mean, guys? Somebody tell me what it doesn't mean. I trust you. It's mean I'm thinking that you're good, right? Correct. If I say I trust you, it's mean. At this moment, I think you are good. So Allah entrusted the Jews. That means when he trusted them, he thought they are good. That means Allah do not know the future. Because if he, Allah entrusted them to protection of the book, and then the Jews did not protect the book, that means Allah, he made a mistake by the trust. He gave the trust for the wrong one. You should not give a trust to someone he is not trustworthy. So if Allah, he knew the future, then how he entrusted such a job to the Jews 
and in you supposedly they will not do protected in this case if Allah he knew that they are not good and they will not be trustworthy so here he chose the wrong word in the Quran because he said entrusted them because the word trust is about me believing that you are good and that means Allah is a stupid and as long the Quran agree that no bad thing can happen in this earth except by the will of Allah that means the corruption of the Injil and the Torah happen by the will of Allah that means Allah is shaitan because who is the one who will get the benefit of a changing of the book of God except Satan ask yourself let us say you are a believer in a religion who is the one who will get the benefit of corrupting a book of God Satan as simple as that and as long nothing can happen except by the will of Allah according to Islam who said that the Quran said that in many places. let us show you the Quran and get Muhammad busted as usual never any bad thing happen in this earth all those verses speaking about this except it is by the permission of Allah so is the corruption of a book of God is a bad thing absolutely if Allah is God but Allah is saying no corruption will happen unless by my permission so shaitan he called Allah Allah can I corrupt your book the brother Allah he said sure yeah please go ahead I give you permission how stupid that is that's mean Allah and shaitan either they are one or they are partners When Muhammad died by poison, how he died? The Quran confirmed that no soul will be taken except by the permission of Allah. So the one who killed Muhammad by poison is Allah. And here we need to ask ourselves a question, why Allah he killed Muhammad? I think we have enough disaster for today. Later, I will try to come back on area. See, my voice is not doing good, really. I apologize, my throat is dry. And uh, sadly, Allah did not send me any adult breastfeeding yet. You know, <clears throat> I'm thirsty. And uh, in the time of Corona, I cannot even practice breastfeeding for adult as the prophet he advised us to do. How in the world that can be from God? This is a chapter 64, verse number 11. All right, guys, if you did not subscribe to our page yet, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe because that Allah, according to Islam, Allah will give you double blessing. So I, my advice to the Muslim, subscribe and subscribe, subscribe. And subscribe and subscribe and subscribe because each time you subscribe Allah he gave you negative deed which means a punishment supposedly but if you unsubscribe he will delete the bad deed and he will give you two good deeds so imagine how much money you can make brother just unsubscribe and subscribe and subscribe this is the most silly stupid cult ever you can imagine in your life and again I advise the Indonesian to read my book which I provided in Indonesian language for free So they can learn about the stupidity of Muhammad and his God. And ask yourself, why those who call themselves Ustad in your country don't dare to call me? Why? They are good to take your money only, but they are not good to call Christian prince who know nothing about Islam. Anyone can defeat him, brother. Allah will help you, brother. If Allah is with you, who could be against you, brother? 
ابدا الذكر اي كان دي بيتكو سبرنس انا اكتلي اي كان ديتروي هيم بس بيكوز اي فيل ميرسي فور هيم اي دونت ونت يو ديتروي زاكر نايك كم اون ديستروي مي مان ام تري نيو اي كان ديستروي يو اكتلي يو ار فينيست وات يو ار فينيست ام فينيشت اوكي هاو 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 ذيس هابن بيكوز الله هي فينيست يو الله هي فينيشت مي Don't forget to download the video because we don't keep them for long in our channel and I encourage all the Indonesian to download immediately after we finish it take like 20 minutes or 30 minutes for the video to be ready to download and please add subtitle share it everywhere and let everybody laugh at the stupidity of those who call themselves Muhammadan from Indonesia trying to answer me by your answers we've been victorious and by your answers you prove to us that you are stupid you do not know your book and if we use your logic your logic will defeat you the best logic to defeat islam is islam logic nothing can happen except by the will of allah so how the bible corrupted by the will of allah why christian prince now is exposing muhammad by the will of allah <laughs> How Muhammad died by poison? By the will of Allah. How the Torah is corrupt? By the will of Allah. How the Injil corrupt? By the will of Allah. Why my neighbor, he raped the women? By the, rape, by the will of Allah. Actually, even Muhammad, he said, even when you commit adultery, Allah, he make you horny and he make you commit adultery. You believe it, brother? Okay, so why you want to punish me for adultery if the one who make me do it is Allah? Brother, read, read the smart Muhammad. Muhammad, too much hashish. The Prophet said, Allah, verily Allah has fixed very portion of adultery, which a man will indulge. What? So when you have sex around, it's not your decision. It's Allah's decision. Allah make your private part like boing. And then Allah, he said, that woman there, go to her. Take off her panty. Look at her bum. May Allah bum you. Which a man will indulge and which he of necessity must commit. What, what, what? So if I look at the women and I say to her, Do you like me? Do you? Do you? Do you want me? Do you? Do you? Let us do it. Let us do it. It's Allah. Allah will. Yes, I do. Allah made me fail into you. Let us go and do barbecue for the sake of Allah. You. Yes, I do. Allah said you should do. It's a necessity you should commit. It's a sin made by Allah. That's it. All what you need to do, just let it, let it go, my friend. Don't feel guilty. Allah is the one who made you. It's, it's a fixed portion. It's a fixed. You can't change it. Uh, okay, let me see how much a portion I have of adultery. Five kilograms and seven ounce. I mean, how ounce would kilogram would go? Let it go. This is, too, this is, this is deep. This is wisdom, brother. This is wisdom, brother. This is amazing wisdom. Even actually, when Adam he commits sin, if you remember, uh, Adam and uh, and uh, and Moses, they have an argument. So Musa says to Adam, "Hey, hey, habibi, habibi, Adam, because of you, habibi, you 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 know we are out of heaven, habibi, huh? Because of you, habibi." Muhammad, he come with a story saying that when Musa asked Adam, why you commit sin because of you were out of heaven? Adam said to him, do you, do you play me? Which for an action, which Allah had written for my fate 40 years before creation. So even the sin of Adam, it is not his choice. A brother, it is Sahih. Sahih. Do you play me 
for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do forty years before he created me. I should do? Read carefully. He decreed that I should do. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult more than this? And the funny, this, this hadith here proving that Musa is, is a person who believed in original sin. That's mean he was not following Muhammad, he was following Jesus. Because Muhammad teach them there is no original sin, supposedly. But as you see, Musa believed that because of Adam, we are out of heaven. And this is what the Christian believe. Muhammad, he took the side of Adam correcting Musa that this is not true. Adam was a victim of Allah. Allah made him commit sin and he decided for him to do the sin 40 years before he created him. By the way, Allah, he, cre he decided for me 40 years before I go live on air today that I'm going to go live on air and spank Allah with my five fingers and leave marks in his ass. It was the decree of Allah that I must go online today and get free. Praise be to Allah, the God who says, I made for you alcohol to enjoy it. It's a sign from Allah. What? Alcohol is a sign from Allah. It's a miracle from Allah. So if somebody gets drunk, it's a miracle? Yes, brother, it says that. Here, we read it. Allah praising alcohol, saying that this is a sign from him. And you take a good privilege of it. But later Muhammad, when he cannot drink no more, he forbid it because now he cannot drink. He's dying by poison. Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you? Do you? Do, do you? Do, do you? Do, do you? By the way, I just got to drink some. Oh. Brother, I see the sign of Allah in this verse, brother. Otherwise, how do you explain to me, brother? You drink something and you start seeing the Kaaba going around you, brother. They get a woman, she is like eight years old, going to do Hajj. And they found with her a bottle of whiskey, black label. And they said to her, the police, a customs in Saudi Arabia, shame on you. In your age, and you are smuggling whiskey to the Kaaba? She said, son, I'm so old. I cannot go around the Kaaba. So I drink this, the Kaaba go around me. Which is true. A wisdom. And a sign from Allah. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And always, we are here to get Islam busted. And more Muslims will leave this cult. They like it, they don't. I am a Christian prince. And the Lord is my victory. I am the one, and we are the ones who follow the living Messiah when those they are following the dead Muhammad. Once a Muslim man he said to my father, Why you don't follow and accept Islam? My father, he respect the man who is a big sheikh in the city, and the man. You know, he said to my father, you are from a big family, important family. We would like to have you. You will be a victory to have you in Islam. So he's trying to seduce him and tempt him. So my father, he said to him, I have a question. Is, what is Muhammad now? The sheikh, he said, well, he is dead. My father, he says, and where is Isa now? He said, he's alive. So my father, he said to him, well, I will follow the living one and you enjoy following the dead until he come back to life. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. We are the followers of the living God. His name is Christ. His name is holy. His act is holy. His miracle is amazing. And he himself is miracle. He was born with no father. For God is miracle. And God miracle, nobody can explain but him by doing what he can do which nobody can do name for me one person can do what the messiah do in islam no one 
name for me one in islam he was the word of god and the same time he was the spirit of god oh hold on i forgot i forgot sorry the guy he said the kuffar they say three in one how that can happen just to show you how stupid you are according to your quran the messiah is a three and one in the same time you idiot read carefully how you can be three and one in the same time it's impossible according to this abdul is that your quran or my book O oh, people of the book commit no excuse in your religion nor say of allah aught but the truth christ jesus the son of mary was a messenger from allah uh -huh. what does that mean he was a man okay and his word uh oh he is a man and yet he is a word in the same time am i a man in the world too no is muhammad a man in the world too no only the messiah is a man and the word of god and not only that he is a spirit proceeding from him from him who god so the messiah in your quran you idiot is a three and one he is the man yet he is the word of god yet he is a spirit proceeding from god which means he is god's spirit and this is not our trinity this is your trinity because this is how the Quran explained the Messiah. So in your stupid Quran, the Quran understand that it can be three and one, and that happened to Jesus. You can be the word of God, which Muslim agree. Now nobody can create it. Actually, even the Muslim agree that the word of God never been created by Allah. So Jesus cannot be created by Allah, because the word of God is not created by Allah according to Islam. And he is a spirit proceeding from him, which means the spirit of Allah is the same spirit of, of, of Jesus. And he is a man, three in one. And yet they say to you in the same verse, don't say Trinity. <laughs> in the same verse, it says don't say Trinity. But in the same verse, you created your own Trinity, you idiot. This is how we laugh at the fool. And this is how we get him busted. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. And Islam got busted. As always. See you.